The FIFA World Cup is considered to be the world's biggest football event and getting to represent one's country in that tournament is one of the greatest dreams of every footballer. But even some of the biggest footballers have never got the chance to live this dream and today we bring them to you. So here are 10 top class footballers who have never played in the World Cup. Number 1. Gareth Bale Bale is probably one guy you want to be. Plays for one of Europe's biggest clubs, earns huge money, is captain of his country and still has enough time for his hobby of playing golf. Bale sure seems like that guy who can do everything. Well, maybe not everything because since he made his international debut in 2006, the Wales captain is yet to play at a World Cup. That's not much of a surprise though because the country have been to the tournament just once in their history, in 1958 where they made it to the quarter-finals. But that might change soon because after many failed attempts, Bale could finally get his first appearance at the World Cup this year as Wales are through to the final stages of qualification. They are now just one win away from making it to the tournament and at 32 years old, Bale may not get many more opportunities after this. Number 2. Eric Cantona he was such a talented player, but he was also known for some bad behaviour. So it didn't come as much of a surprise when he insulted his national team coach on TV or when he hit a fan in the stadium with a kung fu kick. He got banned from the national team on both occasions, so it's no wonder he was nicknamed Le Brat by the French media. If you're thinking that's the reason he never played in the World Cup, then sorry, but you're wrong. The real reason he never played in the World Cup was because France never actually qualified for any throughout his international career. I know, weird right? What's even more weird is, the year after he retired, France finally played in the World Cup and guess what? They won it. Now that must have been really painful. But well, the man was not to be without a World Cup winner's medal. After retirement from professional football, he eventually got his chance to finally play in a World Cup and win the tournament. In 2005, he played in and won the Beach Soccer World Cup. Number 3. Jorginho If you ever dream of playing at a World Cup and winning it, then Brazil and Italy are probably your best bets. Well, that's because they are the most successful teams in World Cup history. And Jorginho was born in Brazil and was of Italian descent, making him eligible to play for any of these top teams. Cool, right? When he opted to play for Italy, making his debut for them in 2016, and while he must have felt it was a good choice, that doesn't seem to be the case. That's because since his debut, they have failed to qualify for both the 2018 and more recently, the 2022 World Cup tournaments. This means that the current European champions will now miss two World Cup tournaments in a row and Jorginho will have to wait another four years to get his first World Cup appearance. I guess he got that one all wrong. Number 4. Alfredo Di Stefano If you ever find yourself in an argument to prove that hard luck exists in football, then this guy's experience with World Cups might be your best shot at winning. And here's why we think so. He's regarded as one of the best players in history and played for two strong national teams, but something always came up to prevent him from ever playing in the World Cup. First was in 1950 with Argentina, the country had already qualified but then had to pull out just before the tournament. Then they didn't even bother taking part in the qualifiers for the next one. On top of that, he got banned from ever playing for Argentina and so he had to go the next few years without international football. He was finally cleared to play for Spain in 1956 but guess what? They also failed to qualify for the next World Cup in 1958. Finally, at 36 years and on the brink of giving up hopes of a World Cup, he finally did it. Spain qualified for the 1962 tournament. He was also going to be part of the World Cup squad, only to then pick up an injury just before the tournament which ruled him out and essentially ended his chances of ever playing in a World Cup. Number 5. Ryan Giggs he won over 30 trophies with Manchester United, but his international career for Wales was a sharp contrast as he was surrounded by mostly less talented players in his national team. The announcement of his retirement in 2006 brought an end to his 15-year international career. It also meant that despite his quality, he had failed to qualify for any major tournament with his country throughout his whole career, with their last World Cup appearance coming in 1958, which was over 30 years before his debut. Number 6. George Best 
If you're hearing the name for the first time, then the answers to the question on your mind are, yes, he was one of the best, and no, it's not a nickname, it really was his last name. George Best was that good, good enough to even win the Ballon d'Or in 1968, but apparently not good enough to play in a World Cup tournament. And George's case is probably the best example of how, no matter how good you are, you need quality teammates to achieve much. Best represented his home country Northern Ireland during his playing days and his teammates didn't really measure up to him in terms of quality. He probably never even had any real hopes of playing in the World Cup with that team because it's said that he considered his international career as recreational football. Number 7. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang Alba was eligible to play for Spain and Italy but he chose to represent Gabon instead and has been representing them since 2009. He's currently the highest goal scorer in Gabon's history, but those goals just have not been enough to take them through to a World Cup tournament. At 32, the Barcelona man doesn't have a lot more shots at World Cup qualification, but do you think he'll be able to make a World Cup appearance at least once before he retires? Number 8. Virgil van Dijk Believe it or not, Virgil van Dijk is yet to make a World Cup appearance. He made his debut for the Netherlands in 2016, two years after their last appearance when they finished third. The man who finished second in the Ballon d'Or rankings in 2019 wasn't able to help his country secure a place in the World Cup in 2018. However, the Flying Dutchman have already qualified for the 2022 World Cup tournament. So barring any damaging injury to Van Dijk or any unprecedented drama, the Liverpool defender will be making his first appearance at the World Cup by the end of the year. Number 9. Wilfried Zaha Zaha was born in the Ivory Coast but grew up in England, making him eligible to represent any of those two countries. As you know, he currently plays for Ivory Coast but do you know he also played for England at some point? Yes. When he was younger, he made two appearances for England but wasn't included in their squad for the 2014 World Cup. He then applied to switch allegiances to Ivory Coast and following the success of that application, he played his first game for them in 2017. The African team failed to qualify for the 2018 edition of the World Cup and unfortunately, they still won't be at the tournament this year after missing out again on qualification. At 29 years old and playing for one of the best teams on the continent, don't be surprised if he's able to get that World Cup appearance before he retires. Number 10. Erling Haaland It shouldn't surprise you that he's scored 15 goals in 17 appearances for his country because, let's face it, he is a goal machine. But the failure of his country to qualify for this year's edition means he'll have to wait a little longer to make his first World Cup appearance. But hopes don't seem very high for him as Norway's absence from this year's showdown means that they have failed to qualify for the World Cup for six straight editions. The last time the country played in the World Cup was way back in 1998. For context, Haaland hadn't even been born by that time. Currently 21 years of age, he still has his whole career ahead of him and with other young talents like Odegaard and Solort coming up as well, Norway and Haaland might yet have a chance at World Cup qualification in the next few years. So there you have it. Do you know any other top players who've never played in a World Cup tournament? Please share your comments and give this video a thumbs up. Also, to get more interesting videos like this one, do hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications for this channel. And until next time, bye bye.